a city of culture, commerce and canals. Amsterdam, the epicentre of Edge Hill University's epic second year human geography field trip. When they go there, they are surprised to see the technological development by the Dutch people, the way they are creating the new island. Multiculturalism, regeneration and heritage are at the core of this course. Before the trip, the preparation. Plenty of time given to the students' own expectations of Amsterdam. I can imagine it being a lot different to other places in Europe and here in the UK. I've never been, so I know there's quite a lot of cultural experiences there. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, it should be good fun. <laughs> Edge Hill University, a winner of the Times Higher Education University of the Year, has been sending students to study Amsterdam for more than two decades. For good reason, it's an excellent education in itself and of particular interest to the Vice-Chancellor himself, a geographer. You need to be able to work as individuals, but you need to be able to work in pairs or as teams as well. You have to be able to analyse you know, data and those kind of skills, in my view, actually make geographers you know, very, very you know, employable. It's a surprisingly quick trip from Ormskirk to Amsterdam via John Lennon Airport and the huge European hub at Schiphol. And almost as soon as the students arrive, they're treated to Amsterdam's eccentricities. Are these the world's most creative hitchhikers? Accommodation is an upmarket hostel in one of Amsterdam's more salubrious suburbs, Vondel Park. Right on the edge of the old city, and thanks to the transport system, just a sustainable short hop by tram or train to anywhere in Amsterdam. It's a plain entertainment area. It's because we have a couple of theatres over here. Students are encouraged to immerse themselves in the city, within reason, of course. Tomorrow, the hard work begins. Have multiculturalism and regeneration worked in Amsterdam? is one of the big questions posed on this field trip. To Osdorp, a community in the midst of a massive makeover. It depends where you're coming from, in what kind of environment you are living now. If the Edge Hill is in the middle of nowhere, in a green campus, then they find it very urban, this area. The regeneration game usually means demolition, and it's no different here. In the thick of it, research at the sharp end. The news, the Dutch news, scared the Dutch people. They say Muslims are bad, don't trust them, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know why, but uh, we don't feel welcome anymore. Well, I, mean, I think your question is very good. In the centre of Osdorp, another opportunity to quiz locals. Is the crime bad here? You said the biggest in Amsterdam? Yeah. Yes, yes, it's, it's very bad. Before you moved, did you notice that the housing was getting better? No, I don't know. I know, not better. Too much uh, people from Morocco, I think, Morocco Turkey. Too mm. much ethnicity, yes. multicultural. Yeah, too much. Kevin Burke's a former Edge Hill University human geography student. Keen enough to join the field trip as an assistant lecturer. Anyone else? To guide the undergraduates and enhance his own postgraduate development. I think it was the, the sort of learning experience that I'd had at Edge Hill with the, the tutors, two of which are sat behind me at the moment, the experience they gave me. And also the graduate school as well, they, they were quite inspirational in guiding me into something that I wanted to do and how to express that in the form of a thesis. A misty Amsterdam morning ahead of exclusive access to the world-renowned Van Gogh Museum for these students studying heritage. There aren't too many institutions considered important enough to give their students a VIP viewing of some of the art world's most precious paintings. But Edge Hill is one of them. It's amazing, we can go around and I don't think I've stopped smiling since I've got in here. Can you see the connection between history, 17th century, to a modern time? The, the field trip studies tourism too. And there's no better way to explore a city built on canals than by boat. It's not like all work and no play, there's plenty of relaxation, plenty of fun to be had as well. The Dutch have been the undisputed masters of land reclamation in Europe for hundreds of years. Their continued dominance on display in Eiburg, six small artificial islands 
that saw their first residence in 2002. This Rotterdam architect made this huge plan uh, of high-rise buildings. Dr. Tiniki Lupi's PhD focused on the development and she's long been a supporter of Edgehill University's interest in Iborg. How long is the development going to take before it's finally done? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Officially, it should already be finished, everything. And now it's starting all over again. So I guess it's going to take another 10 years. Water, water hotel. There's a submarine there. Then it's another boat, this time a ferry across the River Amstel to NDSM. I've been changing it for five years and we're so busy with the conferences everywhere. Yes. A disused shipyard where old friendships are rekindled amid the renewal. There was no roof, there was nothing, there was no sewage, nothing. Bilmermeer, another suburb that couldn't be further from the stereotypical Amsterdam. Planned in the 60s and the scene of a plane crash in the 90s. This is the memorial where the jet came down. It's a place where regeneration and race come together. What uh, people have done, they organise informal economy in the apartments. You'll find 55 nationalities here. It's a mixed world where today's planners are trying to repair the damage of the past. It is an important, very important uh, place to learn from its, uh, its other. Uh, it is a place where creativity is on a high, really high level. Planners for the future, architects, I think they can learn a lot about uh, here in Amsterdam Southeast. It's all very you know, pretty from the outside, it's a lot more tasteful, etc. But the, the same problems are still here. Holly Bowden graduated in 2013. Her dissertation was Bill Mamiya. What she saw during her studies changed her. I'm helping people um, from backgrounds such as here within the UK, immigration, etc., um, and, and help them with their studies, whether it be arts, culture, music, food, everything. So um, it's just made me aware of how important cultural, cultural diversity is. So a lot of the uh, immigrants or, uh, or foreign nationals will live outside the city. The field trip attracts academics from around the world, glad to offer their expertise and experience and add to their own. I learned that this is a, uh, the students don't pay for this field trip and they're very lucky to have such a program. This is unlike the United States where the university pays for a field trip. The students would end up paying for the field trip. It's also unlikely that a, an American professor will take its students, particularly undergraduate students, overseas or to another destination for a week-long field trip. It's too difficult. <laughs> the professors are more interested in graduate res their research and graduate students' research than they are with undergraduates. So what does all this amount to? Breadth and depth in opportunity and better prospects. The skills that they are developing in terms of geographical knowledge might be um, taken into a specific career path that uses the geography, um, but equally those skills can, can cut across any, any career path that, that you know, isn't necessarily ge geography related, um, but would still use organisational skills, um, IT skills, numeracy, literacy, um, the confidence of being able to you know, as I said, talk to people in lots of different um, capacities. We got our own topic to, to do, our own research to do, and uh, talking to people, talking to city planners. Um, today we talked to uh, one of the social political figures and it's really, really helpful in kind of bringing it all into focus. The reason why I chose Edge Hill was because of the vast module choices, but for me, I felt that tutors would personalise their 
lectures that they taught because they had such a good knowledge of the subjects. Um, also we're in quite small lecture size so you get to know them on a one-to-one -one basis and they get to know you on a one-to-one -one basis. We teach all aspects of theories and practices in, in uh, academia and here we sort of cut them loose in the real life. How these things are geography in action? As you said, time, places, faces, how they're interacting. Are they, are they going to need resemblance to what they've read? So making them ready for employability. When they graduate, they might become a town planner, that they want, might to go for a counselor. And this is the, their practice area very early in their courses. This field trip is about expanding horizons and opportunities. Now I found some kind of inspiration or something that might have felt a bit dry in the classroom, but actually really comes to life and is something they want to pursue through a master's study, PhD, or into the world of work with an employer. I hope they've got that inspiration. Every facet of Amsterdam explored. A field trip that attracts academics from around the world, and many from Amsterdam keen to explain and explore alongside the undergraduates. Former Edge Hill students keen to contribute to the course. Exclusive access, simply impossible for most. An experience rarely available elsewhere. The lectures are good fun. Uh, everyone on the course is very nice. I like the people, I like the, I like the stuff that we learn, I like the, stuff, the way it's taught, I like the lectures that teach us. It's just a very good course to come on to. It's a great university, really. To paraphrase the old song, how lucky these Edge Hill University students are. Enjoying a field trip in old and new. Amsterdam.